Okay, so this is um, where I'm going to make a what character How far? Not on. based on. Be Always a surprise, well, Agaran. Eyes on the job, boy. You're gonna have to Don't wait and see, is. baby dolls. Dead's dead, and be thankful for that. All we've seen. Go on and pull back the sheet, though. It'll need to be in our report, one way or the other. My character is going to be based on Jerry Halliwell. And I've found that I think the most Jerry Halliwell-like face comes from the faces of our main females. Not Verani and not Losafar or Dokafar, because Losafar and Dokafar races have uh, elfish ears, don't they? So... Just dealing with me OCD. And she's not going to be worshipping any of the in-game gods because I'm a Christian. And because of how she's the character that I'm making, she's going to be abiding by my rules, isn't she? So yes, the face which I feel like looks most Jerry Halliwell-ish is this one and uh, because from what the pictures have I that I remember of Jerry Halliwell from her prime I think I remember her skin being very fur like that and Jerry Halliwell has very light blue eyes, doesn't she? And these are the lightest bluish eyes that I think you can have in the game. Sometimes I thought, I thought maybe they aren't... Sometimes I thought... Sometimes I thought... Sometimes I thought that they aren't quite light enough. And once I tried um, those eyes with her, thinking that they might look light enough, but they didn't quite have the Jerry Halliwell-like feel, I think. So we'll go with these blue eyes. Kind of light blue, but not very light blue, you see? <laughs> and... <clears throat> um, the first times I made... Jer the first times I made Jerry Halley were like characters. Um, I didn't have any eye shadow on her whatsoever. But the problem with that was that... Um, I thought it made her look too young and innocent, really. <coughs> and and therefore not as much like her. I mean, I couldn't really tell from various pictures of Jerry if she wears a lot of eyeshadow or not. But to start with, I'm going to have no eyeshadow whatsoever. To illustrate my point, Sonny Jim. And, um... Uh, this is the colour of lipstick I kind of uh, remember re remember having remember her having from pictures of her that I right like and uh, you know from the era of the music video of the Say You'll Be There song and now to get the intensity right like that I'd say just deal with me OCD again and, um, come on. Yeah, now for the hair. Obviously, we're going to be wanting it long, but not with a fringe, because I don't think that gets to Jerry Howie. Well, like, feel quite right, you see, baby dolls. Um, so. Come on, mouse, stop acting up. Um. 
Still want to be OC day as well. Come on. Yes, I'd say this is the most Cherry Valley well like her style. And of course, now we need to get that, um, what's it, that quintessential ginger look, which Jerry Halliwell was always famous for, don't we? Or possibly infamous for. Um, so... Oh, come on, stop acting up, mouse. Oh, uh, personally, I think um, this is the ideal red redness for her. That's too ginger, I think, and I think that's too dark. So we'll be going with this color, and despite her ginger hair. She actually has dark eyebrows, so um, that presumably means that ginger isn't her natural colour, doesn't it? Maybe. That she's really a brunette. So, I always go with um, eyebrows of that colour. And yes, as you can see, without the eye shadow. Stealing the OCD again. Uh, as you can see, without the eye shadow, she looks rather young and innocent, doesn't she? So, um. What I'm gonna do now is, um. darken it a lot. Stop packing up mouth all the way, but even that isn't quite dark enough, I think. So, let's get the very darkest eye shadow on, like that. The dark blue eye shadow. The very dark blue eye shadow. And that looks a lot like her now, I think, don't you, Sonny Jim? So, um. Stealing me your CD. So, as usual, I like to play around and have fun. So, as you can see, that's what Jerry Halliwell would look like bald, presumably enough. Quite intriguing, eh, baby? And while she does look cute like that with her fringe... I think she looks more Jerry Halliwell like without a fringe. So. Let's just temporarily experiment with the tattoos as well. Since it'll be. It's interesting to see what. People look like would look like with them, isn't it?
But, um... I'm not going to do that for too long, since, you know, just a case of my, of my attention being diverted away from um, what we're supposed to be doing here, isn't it? So, without further ado, let us uncover the slab on which the corpse is being wheeled through the corridor on. And see what's on the slab. Uh, on the slab, eh? One of the human <gasps> looks Almain to me, and in good shape. These Almain women wound tighter than a Varani crossbow. All right then. Make sure it goes into the report. You know he'll want all the details. Amazing how well the body held up. Better than I've seen. I'm just glad it's not moving. Must have been born under a lucky star, this one. Anything else we need? Or a council estate. Unless you'd like to name her, I think we're done. Just joking, Put her with Sammy the Jim. Just joking, baby doll viewers. Okay, so for the name. I'm going to call her Sweet Geraldine. And now that that's is done, as the soldiers from Half Life One would say, let's go, boy, boy. Well, that's it for you, yeah. then. Better luck next time. <laughs> Talk about a rude awakening, gay sunny Jim. That rising note goes on forever, doesn't it? With the intensity increasing so much. Not the glamour she's used to, is it, I? I suppose you can't be choosy when it comes to the place where you get reanimated, can you? Look at all the flies too. And now it's time. Hey, I got a good likeness, didn't I? Hey, Sunny Jim. The eyes might look a bit dark, but they're en enigmatic, aren't they? So, now we must progress. I'm not gonna waste much time getting coins and whatnot, as, um,. You know, I've done that with some of my other videos in which I've uh, made characters based on celebrities and I don't want these videos to get too samey, do I? I had to leave a mark, didn't it? No thanks. I prefer to fight back against dangerous invaders like you. And here we have the first enemies, giant rats. Well, you could say are a hallmark of um, Stay away. of um, RPG games like this. You see, shame that we're barefoot at the moment, isn't it? Now that can't be comfortable, can it? 
So, what do you say that we do something about that? Help, like when we come across some remnants of civilization over no. here. Up there, please help me! More, more. Please! In our first fight against the invaders of this place, the hostile to offer. Who don't really take kindly to um, members of the mortal races being restored from death. Oh, thank you. I've seen you before. I'm See, she's very Jerry Halliwell like, isn't you she, eh? Hey? It worked! By the yeah. it worked! You're alive! I'm not dead. No, no, clearly not. Not anymore. But you were. No, what? Well, we must get you to Professor Hughes right away. He'll have questions for you. Oh, no, no doubt. But we must get to Hughes. He'll be in his Shame study I the accidentally floor. skipped to that screen before when it showed her face the more clearly, I think. He'll be in his study on the ground floor of the tower. At least, I hope he's there. And safe. Still, there will be other chances to converse with characters. What now? Let's change out of this drab funeral outfit, eh? This drab, depressing funeral outfit into something more comfortable. Not to mention protective. Just dealing with me OCD, by the way. I need to do it again. And again. Right this way. <sighs> so was the other wanderer killed here, yeah. And the leggings too. He and he fell a bit awkwardly into these um these girders, didn't he? Like his legs have been embedded into them and everything. Talk about an unpleasant way to die, eh? Now to put the leggings on. And collect the boots from here too, to put them on. A lot better than running around barefoot, you see. And now... I feel that we're done here since I'm not gonna waste time breaking open boxes for money. Our greatest invention. After well all, I'm an elite. I don't need to resort to things like that all the time, you see. Um Yeah, we are watching that I don't like having that eye shape. In the video, which was on that well of souls construction, there, but I'm gonna be editing that out anyway, so no biggie, eh, Sunny Jim? In one of the stores. See if you can find anything useful. Yes, like a shield, for instance, to defend our pretty selves with. Not particularly, no. Of course I'll break these boxes so that I can get stuff from this, tre this treasure chest like gloves. Building up our armor slowly and slowly but surely, you see. Another chest here as well, I believe. And I'm not going to put those boots on in the interests of, of uniformity with our clothes and all. Oh, I just missed the chance to um, carry them because of the game messing up my timing with that block notification. Oh, I managed it, uh, didn't I at least? You want to try again, silly Jim? I think not. We. I'm going to need more than just 
that, that was quite a spectacular that finish to those combat shenanigans, wasn't it? And now to equip the long bow like so. Change to it because what we have Art here is, is ranged That's combat, isn't it? Sense. Back to the sword. Go, go. Okay then. Time to get out of here, but I'll take some money as I pass by. We'll need to get the uh, longbow out again here for some more ranged combat. For those times when the enemies are rather inconveniently out of reach. To quote the singer Gabrielle, of course she wasn't referring to her enemies when she talked about people being out of reach, was she? No. Rather, she was rather plaintively singing about lovers lost, wasn't she? Eh? Such a typical female. Daggers are deadly if you catch an enemy unaware. But no, daggers to showcase the stealthy side of the game, you could say. Since daggers being lightweight are typically favoured by those stealthy assassin types, aren't they? Up we go. Up the slope. As presumably we started deep underground and we need to evacuate this place currently falling apart, don't we? I we. Yes, talk about an un uh, talk about an unpleasant fate, eh? An unpleasant end. And there's more here too. Mistake of the gods. Look at the mortal bird scatter. What doesn't make mistakes, my son? Time to die for you as well. Looks at me mouse buttons acting up again. Isn't always attacking when I want it to. Come on, hit him, yes. Back to the sword. As I prefer to um, have my characters be my characters. Not, sure, not quite sure what kind of character Jerry Halliwell would be if she was really in such circumstances. Maybe not a my character after all, she's she's a great deal smaller than this character, isn't she? At least in terms of height anyway. Because in video games, uh, when you control when you create a character, either male or female <gasps> I um I tend to imagine um the characters being uh, like five foot ten or so, and that's because um, that's because uh, it's like slightly five foot ten, slightly above the average uh, height for a man, isn't it? And um, five foot ten is like the height of a tall Amazonian woman, isn't it? For it and that's uh, presumably. Presumably women would need to be tall in order to be able to handle themselves in situations like this, would not they? Full of combat and all against deadly foes, deadly terrifying foes like giant spiders, for instance. But I digress, Sonny Jim. I do so digress when all is said and done. You want some too, eh? Well, take a face full of fire. You horrendous creature, you. So, we're done here. And we'll collect these supplies for good measure. Just in the interest of being thorough, you understand? 
And of course we need to set fire to this webbing to get through, but now that we've done that, back to the sword. My preferred weapon out of what we currently have, that is. Victory yet again. <clears throat> so let's just collect what we have here so you know, I'll just collect these coins for good measure as well. But now let's be getting out of here. I look extra coins. Watch your language, Mitchy boy. That's what I intend to do now. She came out of the way. Uh, what? Steal her me OCD. Yeah, I'll be collecting Later. all these supplies too. Like in the interest of making <laughs> money, you understand? This is where we part ways. I mean, it's Make not sure like these are going to be needing them anyway, is it? I need more help. I suppose these might be able to help. If the Tuatha realize he's directly at, he needs to see you right now. You're the most yeah, I'm not going to stay here world. and fight I'll to help keep this place if going. After all, um, I think it's rather appalling third. what's going he on here. Myself catching souls and trying to be and trying to uh, put them in duplicates of the bodies of the people who died. Of the souls that died, rather. The dead should be allowed to rest and go to heaven, I say, after all. And go to heaven, after all, I say. And yes. Now we're coming to the laboratory. Such a girly walk, eh? Everything you see here is dedicated to one thing, the well of souls, the pursuit of immortality. And you, you're my first success. If we only had the time, there's so much we might learn What's from going you. on? Too much to expect. What's important is getting you out of here safely. You're the only proof of what of we've Of course. I may not be able to save the well, but I can ensure... Let's get out of here. Right. I, I've got my notes, but it's most important that you stay safe. It's just that you... You're fascinating. I'm not going to sit through this so that uh, I don't need to edit out the the um, the eye of Horus on the door after. Since a Christian like me who believes in the real God, the Father of Jesus, doesn't want those homages to fake gods in my videos after all. On our way out, we're going to have to fight our way out some more against the remaining forces of two of the hooligans, aren't I? What happened to my face there, I wonder? You didn't see any of that. You're not a very good two of the raider, are you? A soldier, whatever you choose to identify yourself as. I'll just call you Miss Baldy. Madam Baldy. Of course I'm not gonna leave these supplies to burn. That'd be rather tragic, wouldn't it? Time to get out of here now and head on up these stairs. Closer and closer to land and daylight. I'm sensing some hostility out there. What's going on here? You're rather large, aren't you? But remember what they say, the bigger they are, the harder they fall. This is how I kept an eye on the troll there while attacking that to offer man. Oh, 
That's how you need to efficiently handle combat in games such as these. But the odds are against you and multiple foes are attacking, you see? Oh, he's about to be stunned. Ouch. Notice how his club's like a big tree trunk that he's pulled out of the ground? Oh, for a minute there of us is gonna get hit by that strike. Would have lost a lot of health on hard mode, you see, if that's a hit me. Temper, temper, big man. There we go, it's time for your end. As I've said before, I'm not very good at those things. Especially with my fingers being cold today. On this late November morning. Oh, it's still that cold. And yes, we're outside again. I'm gonna just quickly level up. And, um, yeah, I'll talk to someone out here just to see how how a sweet Geraldine looks out in the open, you see. Well, aren't you the big hero? I'm so glad the life the well saved was that of a gleeful killer. Now, if you'll excuse me, there are wounded gnomes to tend to. They don't have the luxury of coming back to life. Ah, uh, shut up. We'll be moving soon. Uh, okay, then we didn't get to see our face, uh, but maybe we will here. The giant rock thing? Yeah. I don't know how the Twather found it. Fate was kind to collapse that doorway behind it. Oh, not a very good look since we're being obscured by the vegetation, but... I digress. Good luck out there. Anyway, let's see how long I've been going for now. Mm, I'll go a bit longer since, you know, um... Well, um... After all, I had a slow start with my OCD, didn't I? So let's take a dip in the water. Collect the supplies that we have here. I always, um, <clears throat> I always find it more interesting when we find we get outside because this is where um, the supplies suddenly uh, become randomized. I suppose you could say, meaning you don't know what you're gonna find. Could be anything, could be weapons, could be armor, could be potions. More giant rats here. Ah, uh, my timing was off there with uh, my parry. Kinda harder to do it when you're focused on talking, isn't it? Doesn't help that these are so fast and deceptive, the rats either. It's hard to tell when they're going to do it, since they don't really give much uh, visual indication aside from squatting. But I'm managing it now. There we go. I'll just take, I'll just liberate you with your supplies, rats. Strange that they should be carrying coins after all, isn't it? Yeah, I'll just unlock these chests too and see what we find. Oh! Yeah, it's definitely harder to concentrate when you're trying to talk. Especially a lot. When you're talking a lot playing these games, well, games like this anyway. 
Try to dispel a chest and hope to it doesn't blow up in my face if I fail. There we go. Not much in there though. And what could be in this one? I'll take a skilled lock picker. Not gonna be taking those, not gonna be wearing those cotton shoes. After all, they contrast with our outfits, wouldn't they? It shouldn't really be very nice. I mean, normally I would actually put them on if they were better, but um, with them being cotton, they're gonna be uh, sorcerer type clothes and. Sorcerer type clothes aren't really as durable as roguish clothes like what my character's wearing now. And given that I tend to play as my characters, I prefer clothes that give protection. Or should I say apparel that gives protection. Oh. Oh. I'll just collect these uh, resources from this overturned card, which I'll never use. But I will possibly sell them at some point in time or other. That's if I actually play more into this, just to find um I mean not on video of course, but he is a bear. As you can see, he was rather tall and stood on his back legs, wasn't he? And he was leaning up to strike me like that. But nothing I can't handle when all said and done, as you can you, see. I remember you. What are you doing here? When I saw you, the weather. My contact pays well for information about its progress. I just send reports to make some money on the side. Oh, aren't you a deceitful little man, eh? I never wanted anyone to get hurt. Thank you, thank you. I don't want any Anyway. I'm gonna I'm gonna probably stop this now now that I've played a reasonable amount of time and before I'm gonna be editing out parts of this video so um let's come out of the game and uh, see how our, see how our video's gone so until next time sunny Jim baby dolls goodbye